Welcome to another Watercolor Wednesday. There's a few people going to hop on here, I'm sure of it. But as for right now, I am going to go ahead and get linked up with everything. Yeah, there we go. That looks looking good. Hey, how is everyone? I see some people hopping on. I'm very grateful to have you. And those that are watching this on the replay. Hey, Doc Day, what's going on? How are you? Let me know in the chat what you're drinking. I've got me a smoothie here. Mango smoothie. Let me know if you're doing cold drinks right now or just hot beverages because of the winter. I uh, got some brushes here. This is a travel brush by Escoda. I'm glad to hear you're doing well, Doc. This is from the blue set, the blue travel set. I believe this is a number 10. I have used it now so much you can't read it. Uh, we also have a 12. You can see how pretty close they are. We've got, uh, I think this is a number 14, Perla. I'll be using that. All right, some coffee. Um, I'll be using this brush. I haven't used this brush uh, for Watercolor Wednesday. Now, I've shared this brush before. This is a Prado uh, brush. And it's a number four. But this is considered a liner. Okay? Not a rigger. A rigger is a flat end. This is rounded. All right. We got another, another number 12 Perla just because it's new. And um, it's got a nice new point on it. And we've got the mop brush. So last week we talked about some gouache. Daniel Smith gouache. All 52. So now there's like 70 something. Or is there 90 something? Ah, oh, sorry. <laughs> I just had a brain fart all of a sudden. Um, this was done with gouache, okay? You can see it's very, very opaque. And, well, let's just say that this process, as you've seen, some of you have seen this gouache book. I've traveled with it, and um, I've done some projects with it. Here's, here's when they first came out uh, with Daniel Smith. And, uh, you know, uh, this is me at the airport waiting for a plane so I could easily pull these out and start painting. So I've been working on this idea of these covered bridges for a while now. Here's even today's sketch of another covered bridge that I'll be working on. And, you know, if you don't know me by now, uh, my name is Gabriel Stockton. We've been doing this Wednesday, Watercolor Wednesday now for almost four years now. And it'll be four years in March. And so, you know, uh, I do a lot of studies and whenever I want to get good at one particular subject, I stick with it for a while. And then I throw it all in the mix, and then maybe I'll do some seascapes, some landscapes, cityscapes. Um, now we've got these new rural scapes, and um, I'm really enjoying having a new subject matter. Some of you know I like to paint planes, as you, we just saw, these airplanes in the airport. Actually, that's at the fair. Um... So this is the piece we're going to look at today. Uh, I thought about doing a fun little Christmassy kind of snow. How do we paint snow? And, you know, there's some uh, colors in here, but this is making it look really, you know, uh, eye catching. And that's something that's helpful for a painting uh, when you're considering um, 
maybe enter in a competition or whatnot. But what I wanted to do today was we do something kind of Christmas theme, holiday, winter theme. If this is something that excites you, let me know in the comments. And um, without any further ado, I've already done the sketch. And we're going to work this painting in layers, okay? So, yes, um, there's going to be a sky, and then there's going to be some trees, and then this building, and then we've got a tree in the foreground, which is actually darker. It works from dark to light, and then we're going to work in this foreground. Now, the reason why I've chosen this format is it's a vertical format. It gives me a little bit more distance uh for this painting and it works it's it's really my goal is to draw you in into the painting and that's something you need to consider whether it's a vertical painting or a horizontal okay so without any further ado let's hop into this i'm gonna start with my mop brush and uh wow uh actually you can see a little more of my palette today that's cool i am working smaller i think this is a six by nine or six by ten if you find that helpful let's look at our sky in order for this um sky this to turn up as snow we need a nice blue sky. Uh, I know in my first photo reference, it wasn't much of a blue sky, but that's why we step away from our art and then come back to it. I'm pretty much just putting water in there now. I have actually like moved away from any, um, paint. Maybe we put some more blue here, like this. Bum, bum, bum. And a little more blue over here. That'll be fun. And as gravity has already proven us, gravity's in charge and we get some of this that'll come down. Now, I've said this time and time and again. Hey, there's more of you on here, and I appreciate the thumbs up. I'm glad you can hear me. You can hear me, yes? And um, I always have one of these in my hand to control the water. So pull some of that water out of there. I need these to be horizontal. Okay. All right, with that said, we've got that sky. This is going to lighten up, as we've learned before. By that being a nice blue sky, I can come in here and maybe put one little cloud right there, and then one little cloud in between those trees. You've got to have your paint dark enough to do that. Okay? All right. From there... We can get into our lovely mix of our barn. And since it's the star, our covered bridge, I should say, since it is the star of the show, I can put my red over here. Now, I'm going to add some pyro orange. That's going to make it more poppy. And hopefully a little more old-timey. Old I add a little bit of green to it. That's going to knock down the chroma, but not too much. So there we go. Adding that compliment gives me this lovely, lovely red. So right underneath, I can take this brush. I'm going to move this over for a second. So... There is a flag on my building right there, so I am going to go around that and see that. We just go here and press down, 
and that's fine and dandy. I'm gonna paint right into the inside of our barn. There we go. Coming across like this. And uh, for those of you who are here, who's been painting? I hope you all are keeping those brushes wet. And I'm adding some water. Gonna come here. Now there's gonna be some snow right here. And um, this is not the time to do all that old looking stuff on our covered bridge. Okay, this is our first layer, and nice. I can just take a little bit of this over here. Some of you know I just love this wonderful lavender. I'm going to add a little more ultramarine blue to it, and I'm going to first test it here. Now, um, I'm using, paper-wise, I'm using Bohong. This is a Chinese paper. And uh, I've got this sample, actually, right here. So Bohong came to the NWS show. Some of you know that I am a board director for the NWS. I'm very grateful. So this was given to me by attending the show by Bohong themselves and um, has all these lovely samples in here. And the one I'm working on is the rough 300 grams and this is their cotton watercolor paper. This is 140 in the US, okay? So there came with three samples of each they have a hot press, 300 grams. I will most likely use this hot press for gouache. All right. And then they've got this lovely one here. Oops. I went a little too far. This one is missing. Is it missing a label? It is. So I believe this is the their cold press. Okay, you can see the difference in the rough. All right. And um, it's also 300 grams. Really nice paper. There is a front side and a back side. See this texture? There's not so much texture there. So with Bohong paper, you could tell which is the front side. There's more texture as far as the cold press. And for the rough, see how rough that is? And not so rough. It's rough. It is rough. The rough is definitely more rough than the regular. All right. So, uh, I've been saving that for just a special occasion, such as this. Came in this little package. So, it, it's important to go to these events. The National Watercolor Society's, uh, receptions and stuff like that. And you never know what you're going to walk away with. And it's quite fun. Um... And it's another good reason why you should get involved in volunteer. Because I obviously got that because I'm a volunteer. Alright, I could take a little bit of this blue. And drop it over here. 
And I'm making me a nice little violet. And while this is still wet, I'm gonna round these corners. There's snow on this guy. So the corners are rounded. Okay. Got this edge here. All right, and then we got this edge over here. Now, I'm first dropping this nice dark right here, but it is going to go darker. So, you're probably learning that with watercolor, there's timing. And if you want to learn that timing, Come join us. I'm going to have an upcoming workshop with Cheap Joe's. They are a distributor here in the U.S. And this is my upcoming workshop. It is a three-day workshop, not till February. So if you don't know what to tell your family you want for a gift, it's only $265. And this is the website. You can also go to my website at gabrielstocktonfineart.com and make sure you sign up for the newsletter because I have a newsletter coming out tomorrow. And there's a cool thing that's going to be in that newsletter. So that's something you want to be a part of. Let's look at... I will pop on to the questions if you have any here shortly my head is lower than the camera today so i won't see the questions right away but i will answer them all right we've got a nice little chunk of dark right here this is the wonderful piece that is connected to our bridge and it comes over here too look at that isn't that lovely so uh there's this nice dark piece goes all the way over now i am looking at photo reference but i'm gonna paint this better than the photo reference all right, some more blue into this because it's darker here and cooler. I'm going to grab some of that goodness and let's connect these two. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? There is a nice little dark right here, but there's a window. Boom. That's working for now. We'll see how it dries. Oh no, you know what I just did? I just put my brush in my smoothie. Well, luckily I only had two more sips left. <laughs> All right, let's paint this thing with some smoothie. I'm just kidding. There is a nice, there's a nice little darkish gray blue back here. So I'm gonna grab a little bit of this orange and I'm gonna make a nice little gray. And here we go. All right, right here. This is gonna come back. This is going to build some distance. And it's going to give our wonderful friend, the snow, some little lovely back, uh, push the snow forward in our little lovely picture. Okay. Add a little more of this lavender to get a little more grayer right in there. Look at that. Isn't that lovely? 
And while we have it, there's a little trim just right here. Right underneath that roof. And just a little piece. Okay, and there's a little section here. Now we're doing this in bits and pieces. And we do have a nice little tree that comes up right here and goes up into these other trees. And we've got another little tree here that comes up into those trees. Now, with a brush, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. all right, I like some of this lavender into here. This needs to be a little more brown and a little more green, a little more blue. There we go. Because I want some sky to come through. I'll grab a new paper towel. And let's do this. I have to move this over just a chitch. Because I got to turn this sideways. You see this? There we go. And we're going to do just a couple of passes here. Because there's a couple of groupings of trees here. Now leave those rooms for those birds to fly through your trees. And I'm going to build up the thickness here now by adding water. I'm now adding water to my mixture. Now, see I was holding the brush this way. Now I'm coming this way. It's a little more darker here at the top, uh, meaning it's thicker. There's more trees here. Let's put some more trees going vertical. There we go. Nice. There is some nice thicket of trees and make sure that this edge is rounded. And uh, keep that from looking like mud. You gotta put some color in there. Nice. Okay, we're gonna take some brown and some lavender. Hey, we got some trees in here. These trees are coming from behind. And they get thinner as they get a, a, a higher up, okay? Just remember that. Then we got these little lovely things. This is what I love about a perla. But what I can do is I can grab our friend, the liner. And now we can get some of this goodness. And I'm actually going to paint backwards like this. See this? I don't want it coming out. And I can turn this thing sideways as well. The goal here is this is some scruffy looking stuff here because I'm building up this middle ground. So we're knocking down some of the whitey and the behind the sky, but I'm not covering it up. This is why you cannot, this is why I'm not showing the reference photo, but because you cannot stick to what's on there or it's not gonna look lovely. Now this is gonna be a nice soft edge 
this gets dark coming back around here and I got that edge again uh, don't let that get hard on you there's those trees back there look at that isn't that now this has to be quiet back here if you if you put you know green and colors that's gonna make us look there it's going to work against you in this foreground all right let's look at this space here i'm gonna put some lavender right down here and play with that look at that now with my what is this maybe a number eight perla i'm gonna get some of this lovely lauren mccracken black i'm gonna take a look at your messages just here in one second let me put down this wonderful cup black in here right there this is going to get my viewer to look right at the start of the show that the edges aren't quite the top edges have some slants okay what do i mean if we were to look at this dead on it would look like this the opening okay and then, see that? It's not this. Don't let your left brain take over. Your left brain wants to do it like this. Okay? That's kind of boring. Okay? This is much more interesting. Here, now I fill that in right look at that isn't that lovely we could put a little flag here it's kind of blowing into the wind all right let's get back to our painting <laughs> All right, so we're building up some of these darks. We're always going from light to dark, friends. Let's put a little more dark underneath this eave, but not a hard edge. Okay. This has to get a uh, lovely and dark right in here and drop down for our snow. All right, let's look at this tree right here in the front. Cause what we're looking at is we want this tree to come down like this. And like this. And like this. That's right, there's three sections coming down to one. That top's gotta go a titch darker. Cause it's coming towards you. So if it's bending, we're seeing more of the underside of this tree. And it's going to push that foreground and forward and background back. Just trust me on this one. <laughs> All right, and then this goes a little more gray as it's coming down. Cause I'm thinking it's colder. I 
could be wrong. Some science person, let me know. It's probably colder out towards the tips, huh? That's why it's shedding its leaves. Now there's snow right here. So what I got to do is put this tree down in the ground. And then I've got snow coming down. This is one of the things that got me all excited about this tree. I was painting this snow. Now you know I like to use my fingernail. Alright, now I'm out of spot. Let's see if you got some questions for me. Look, oh, we do have some branches here. Hold on. There are some branches coming off this thing. There's another tree on the other side. Now, of course, yes, leave some of those branches quiet. There is one little dark right here. I want to put that in first before I get sidetracked. And then, what questions do you have for me? Maybe I haven't said yet. This water is going to start coming in here and going back this way. And kick back this way, under there. And this comes like this. Because then we have our snow here. And then it kicks back again. A nice big chunk there. And then here. And then chunk, chunk, chunk. Over here. There's some little chunks. In case you couldn't see it in the drawing. Because I did, I did lighten this up. Nice little chunk right there. This is going to come around. That's a good stopping point. Alright. Let me take a look at the chat. And see what we have. Bum, bum, bum. Susan Hunter, hello. Have you tried Daniel Smith Christmas Green? Um, so blue. Uh, yes. There's the Christmas tree green. And what they did was they added a nice pine scent to it. And I have not tried it yet. Bum, bum, bum. And then... Doo -doo -doo. All right, you guys can hear me loud and clear. That's awesome. And, uh... All right. No questions, so I'm going to keep rocking and I'm rolling. You know what I think I can do? You know, it would look really nice. Let me grab some, and then what I'm going to grab here is, I've got my yellows here, that's Naples yellow, um, ISO yellow, permanent yellow deep, I'm looking for Hansa yellow medium, there it is, Hansa yellow medium, and... Where is Hansa Yellow Deep? There it is. Bum, bum, bum. Have you tried the Christmas green? Uh, yes, there were some colors that came out. It came in a really cool Christmas tent. And um, I asked to get some samples of it. But I was talking to one of the other brand ambassadors. Uh, Letty and Giovanni, their husband and wife, they are our powerhouse couple. And they um, said what it was. It had like a pine scent to it. Dun, dun, dun. All right. And it's, it's, it's not a new green per se. But it's a green that is, um, so I want you to look through this painting. The green is, uh, 
yeah, it's, it's a really cool idea. I'm going to add this yellow. So I want us to look through the painting, right? So this is going to come up and over. Let's add this lovely guy here. Maybe some yellow around on that tree. And um, we're going to drop some yellow down in here. Like that. And add some, some deep, Hansa yellow deep. There we go. And drop this in there like so. Wham. I almost said wham, bam. <laughs> I don't even know where that came from. I'm going to add some stronger red right here. Almost right out of the tube. All right. I'm going to try something really different. I'm going to go, I'm going out on the limb here, folks. I am getting out of control. What if we put a little bit of this yellow on the other side of our snow? Now, I'm not going to put on the whole edge. Just a little bit there. Flare this up. Now it's good I put water here, not blue, because it had been a sad green day. It also matters I use a warm yellow instead of a cool yellow. I didn't use my Hansa yellow light. That's pretty cool. What do you think? Did we make this look like really something special? I did kind of give you a hint. See that? The one with the gouache. All right. While I've got those, guess what I can do? Guess what I can do? I can get in here. And if that's not, if that light is there, it's not going to be right here because that edge is going to pop. So this yellow actually comes. Whoa. What is that? That was yucky. We don't want that yucky stuff. I had something on my brush. All right, here we go. There we go, look at that. And um, let's go there. Now, we just add some water. I'm gonna add some water up towards the top there, above that yellow and lighten that up. Now, just a little bit of goodness right in here. What goodness was that? <laughs> that was some deep ponds of yellow. Okay, wow. Let's add some of that lovely reddish goodness right in here. And there's, there's a reflection of our... I could use a little bit of that, make it a little more orangey red. Uh-huh. Like this. It's going to come around right in there. There's a piece of ice right here. So this is going to come here. It breaks up. This is coming here now. This is going to do a nice little zigzag. There's uh, some little thing of snow right there or ice in our water. So it doesn't get a full reflection. OK, 
okay? Just little bits and pieces as it comes forward. You'll see. But I'm just getting this color stuff out of the way. Okay. Now, we've got something going on underneath. Now, I can come forward underneath here. We've got just a little example. I'll show you where I'm going. See this? Simple. Keep it nice and simple. So, right under here and here. This comes like on an angle, a little more gray. Right there, there's a nice little chunk of dark right here. Okay, and there's a little chunk of dark here. Nice, this stays dark there. We've got some little bits and pieces of twigs and stuff that are all rocks and twigs. Okay, and there's some little twigs in here. Look at these little twigs. Some twigs back there. A couple twigs here. These are coming up out of the snow. One time. You don't want to keep going over these. And you don't want too many. Just enough. Now our wonderful little friend is sitting nice and solid underneath here. This could go a touch darker. Look at that. And this can go a little touch darker there. Boom. Nice. Uh, still not worried about all these lines and stuff under here, okay? If you've done that already, you've gone ahead of the game. The game right now is just chunks. Okay? Just chunks right here. Now that looks weathered, but we will come back and do some detailed lines just here shortly. There's just a little chunk of red here. Now, coming forward, there's this wonderful thing of dark that needs to come down right here from the shadow of our little friend that's holding the bridge up. See that? Okay. Now, there's a little bit of white and then a little bit of chunk of dark here. Then a zigzags, another little zigzag. There's a lot of Z's in here. There's like so many Z's, it's almost silly. We're going to do some cut back jack right in like that. Look at this, uh, a little bit of gray piece coming up in there. Let's get over here. We can't forget about this little guy. And for that, we're going to use this fan brush. So we're going to get that wet. So now the fan brush does that. So I'm going to get in here. Some of this goodness. A little bit of that. So what I want... Now let's take a little bit of moisture out. And right here is a bunch of twigs and stuff coming up and out. See that? There's some over here. Done. Now that made my base. Now I want 
How are we doing on time? 3.45, I got 15 more minutes. We are rocking and rolling, yo. Who else is here that's been watching that hasn't said hello? Please say hi. I wanna... Uh, what are some things that you're thinking uh, of painting in the future for uh, upcoming 2024? Have you made some new goals on stuff you want to do? Uh, this year, I got out only two newsletters, um, three t tomorrow, so hopefully you are getting, you are signed up to get newsletters. If not, you go to the website, Gabriel Stockton Fine Art, and sign up, but next year, I'm going to be even more active. And I've got some lessons I'm going to be sending out where you're going to get an opportunity to kind of learn something. I like, I like newsletters and stuff where people actually like teach me something. It's not just like, hey, look at me. I'm cooler than you. It's like, hey, did you know this? Um, I've had some really cool aha moments and I want to share them with you and I don't always remember to put them on social media but um, I think if you are actively pursuing watercolor and actively a part of you know you've come alongside me and you've wanted to see you know, I'm, and some of you sign up classes, some of you actually bought paintings. Thank you so much if that's you this year. You rock. Seems like sometimes I just, you know, sell enough paintings to paint more paintings. And if it wasn't for good old Daniel Smith, I probably wouldn't be. Uh, yeah, it's probably one of the best things that ever happened to me. Thanks to Cheap Joe's, thanks to Eric Rhodes, thanks to, there's many people, I could just go on. I am I am very grateful for this year. So remember I said a lot of zigzags, we're doing them right now. There's this thing that comes like this. Guess what? This is a reflection of your sky, okay? This is reflecting the sky. This is not blue water. Okay. This is sky stuff. And then we get snow is not white, but also blue and lavender. Okay, maybe grab some Kingman blue, put it in here. It's just coming along. What do you think? Have you learned something today? Look at this. Yep. Um, let's get some of that in here. And there. Yep. And this comes here. You know, um... What are you grateful for? What is what is one thing that um, maybe I've taught you in one of my lives? Is there a favorite live that sticks out to you? Um, or maybe something I haven't done yet. You know I do it, but I haven't <laughs> shared it. Call me out. Like, um, look at that. This is coming along quite lovely. Mix some of that gray in with that yellow. Some dry brushing. This is like the ice. That I want to stay light. All right, here, some of this. Some of 
some of this. This is cobalt. Sorry, cobalt. Woo! That just looked wintry. I'm going to check here, see if anybody's put anything in the chat. This is fun. Um, I want to I wanna see what this looks like with the white. We've got about 15 minutes to go. We might go over... We're gonna go over five minutes. Sorry, but it's important. It's really important for you to see what I'm about to just do. Before I do that, that lightened up on me for some reason, and so I'm gonna get some of this wonderful burnt tiger's eye. I first used hematite. Burnt scarlet hematite. Now I'm going to add a little bit. I said a little bit. Holy cow. Here we go. That's what I want. I want this just a titch darker right here. There, look at that sky just popped. That's what we wanted. That's some dry brushing. Oof. And guess what? Guess what, check a little. <laughs> uh, what's a favorite thing that you like to eat during Christmas? Are you a friend of eggnog? I'm curious. Do you do the adult eggnog or the regular eggnog? Um, I'm excited this year, you know. Even though I was bummed about one thing that happened, but I'll get over myself. Uh, we all make accidents. Yeah, look at that. That is that is quite lovely. There's something I want to do in the foreground, and that's I did it here. So if you want to hang out just a little bit longer, we're going to add. Some of this vegetation in the front, which needs to happen right here. It's going to break up some of that space. And this thing's pretty beat up now. So he kind of makes goofy lines. And what I want is one maybe here. And three going this way. Maybe this one a little taller and something coming off of him. And uh, I'm saying him because these are ugly. <laughs> it's a uh, kick it back up this way. This literally is pointing back to the star of our show. Okay. And then we'll do one more like that. Now, there's like some red stuff on it, which is kind of cool. But I'm going to go with um, some pyro orange. And it's imperative that I do these things that point up to the star of the show. Okay, I literally am pointing my brush. Look, I'm giving you a pro tip right now. This I should be charging for. But I'm feeling this is... Now I need to change that up. I need some darker ones now. See this? Because these ones are going over a darker color. See that? Everybody is going to be... Kind of pointing up at our friend. But I can't have this taking away from that. So 
We are going to add some blue, make a nice little greenish brown again. Yes, I see your comment. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to check out what you were. You're, someone's just put down a cool comment, which I'm super stoked about. I'm going to look just here one second. We've got some real detailed stuff. Now, this is where you're probably like, Gabriel never does these weird little details in the front. This, because this needs it. Okay. This right here is pointing back to our little friends. I'm adding some weight here to make this look like snow. You see that? There's a couple of them over here. This is a nice big dark chunk. Things that happen right here real quick. And see that? It's pointing back. Everything is going to point to the star of the show. Alright? Just like your good old FedEx truck. Alright. Uh, there's some twigs here. Pointing. And there's a twigs here, pointing. There's a twig coming off right there. This needs a little bit of love. Pushing that sucker back. And there is that comment. I'm excited to see what someone has to say. While I'm doing that, I just add a little bit of water to my gouache to wake it up. Oh, it's awake. All right, what is the comment? Let's see. Dun, dun, dun. Top chat. All right, Doc Day. The other thing was leaving things out and changing it up a bit from the photo. Oh, wonderful. You asked the one best thing uh, we learned from the lives is that it's a composition. Yes. Yes, thank you, Doc. Sprouts. Oh, yes. Loving this painting. Thank you so much. We are all very quiet tonight and shocked. The Christmas shopping. Oh, for sure. Hey, Artie. Beautiful painting. I'm glad you're here, Artie. And Chuck Davis. Hi, from the Gulf Coast. Hey. And Susan. Hello. Have you tried? Oh, yes. I read that one. About the there is now some little whites that I'm going to put in here. Because everything is so connected, it's almost too silly. So I'm going to add a little bit of light on this branch. I said a little bit. A little bit of light here on this branch, breaking it up from that background. And um, just a little bit of white on this edge. It got a little lost. And it needs to be a little bit different than this side. This can go a little not so straight. But kind of round and wonky. And um, what I can do is add some lavender right here. And right under this edge, right here, like this. And what I want to do is, this is going to go up and down. It doesn't have to look perfect, friends. It, it can... Have some nuances to it. My a little bit of shadow right there. 
and I'm gonna add some Lorimer Kraken Black right here. Look at that. That looks pillowy. I don't even know if that's a word, but I just threw it out there. <laughs> that's fun. And I can drop just a little more here. Nice. Let's put these details in this barn. Notice I saved that for the last part. Some of you do these details way too early and then you're, you're not in love with the painting anymore. So one, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, and one. See that? It's almost like when you look at a sheet of music, okay? And a sheet of music, if you've ever played an instrument, so you got this one here, right? We got this line. And then the next one comes maybe here and here. Okay, there's like a there's like a beat. Okay, and then there's one quiet. These are notes being played. It's being played, and it's quiet, played, and then played. And maybe there's one over here. Okay. And another one here. This is much more interesting. Joseph Zivugovich talks about not having soldiers lined up like this. Okay? But he talks about writing the word Picasso. There's P, then the I, then the C, and then the O. So what do we want? We want... And yes, I did totally abbreviate Picasso. What we want is we want staggered things. Okay? Because if your left brain has already got it figured out like this, it's bored and it wants to move on. Your left brain is your logic brain. Your right brain is your creative brain. The left brain tries to go after the information first. And then the right brain is like, hey, I can look at this thing and make sense of it. The left brain wants to just critically... Get the task done and over with. And you're in charge of saying, hey. Uh, there's a lot of left brain people that buy paintings because they're not as creative as you are. And that's why we need artists in this world. We need artists to make wonderful things that stop people and go. What the heck is that? So, we're building up some darks inside of this thing here. A nice little dark there. Not too dark. I'm gonna slap. This is where Gabriel Stockton shakes up the watercolor world and I'm actually painting what into what light color on top of dark. Probably in other other places they would say oh, you never do that. But this is actually in the classification of mixing on your paper. Now I soften these edges so these edges are not, they're facing away from that light, right? Well, I want to put a little thing of light here. Fixing that edge just a titch. Yes, I did say fix. And... 
I'll break that up right there. Not too much more. There is a look. I got a little carried away on this here. And where's it at? Oh, uh, here. And you know what we gotta do? Always, 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 always sign your work. Especially when you just have confidence that you even like the painting. You don't wanna sign this yet if you don't feel confident that it's lovely. Well, I hope you enjoyed this. It was a wonderful, wonderful time well spent. I'm going to show you my uh, actual reference photo. And we've got to go into my favorites. Boom, 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 boom. Do, do, do. Where are you? Library. My goodness, you were just here. I've got too many covered bridges. Can you have such a thing? Well, shucks. It's lost. Hold on, hold on. Usually there's a thing over here that says, oh, there it is, favorites. There it is. All right, here is... The photo. Isn't that painting better than the photo? I would say yes. But, you know, I know the artist. <laughs> but this is way too dark, right? Um, this has some wonderful things going on. And it looks a little bit, it looks even a little bit better. Um, in person than on this screen right now. And, uh, dang, my iPad just died. Sorry. Jeez. All right, well, again, here is my little gouache master mind. Your painting is definitely better. Thank you so much, Chuck. Great subject matter. Thank you, Susan. Thanks, Gabriel. Great demo. You're welcome, Chuck. Merry Christmas to one and all. Yes, and all a good night or day, wherever you are. Thank you, Gabriel. Happy holidays. Thank you, Susan. I love the color harmony, Will. And I bought it. Oh, I'm glad that worked out for you, Artie. Yes, uh, that car color harmony, Will, is great. If you don't know what we're talking about, we have that video in um, our stack of videos. There's even a short video on it. And uh, what else we got here? That's it. All right. Well, let me come on the camera real quick. And um, someone was like, we always miss your face. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I got my seasonal scarf even though i guess it's more irish than uh oh than christmasy but thank you so much for joining me for another watercolor wednesday i will see you i think we'll definitely be doing this next week so uh have a wonderful time uh merry christmas and uh, i will see you before the new year thank you so much and keep those brushes wet I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye. I'll show this picture one more time. There it is. Take care.